Excellent, and good afternoon, YouTube. Let me just unlock my chair so I can lean all the way back. Excellent. Right then, so I'm back with another Unreal. Uh, it's not less, less a tutorial this time, I'm more just like a showcase. So, as you can see, I've been uh, fiddling around with setting up a pool table. Let's just move that ball off that table now, because we're not using that table anymore. So, uh, let's get it over here. Oh god, I've sent it off into the off into the far reaches of the universe. Let's get it. Bring that up. Come on. Okay. How how far away did you go? Alright, come on. Over here. There we go. Now we should should be Yeah. So now as you can see I've made the tabletop the uh, tabletop glass because as the uh, title suggests, it's all about this working, functioning mechanism that I've got in here for filtering out the pool table, uh, pool balls. So, let's just see it in action and you'll, you'll see what I mean. So, let's get over there because the, the, the start point's currently there. So, I've got a basic charge shot. So, if you look at the left of the little viewport, you'll see as I'm holding down the mouse click, it's charging up the shot and then boom, hit the ball. Now, we'll get up on the table and get a better view of what's going on. So you see all the balls go... <laughs> I need to put something on the other side of that to block it. But as you can see, they all go down and get filtered out. Now, if we were to get the white ball and put that directly into a hole... Just get in there. Get in there. Come on. Get in the hole. You should see that when the white ball goes down, it actually gets filtered down to a different section. Now... Also, another thing I've got added in here is a little mechanism, as you can see. I don't have a crouch coded at the moment, so it's a little hard to look. But I've got a little mechanism that you can you can f twist to let the balls back out. That one's got a, a little stick. I'll tell you what we will do while we're here is we'll just put a little a little blocking volume. A little blocking volume here, so we'll just pull a cube in. And we'll just put it there. Yeah, that'll do for now. Make sure it's got its collisions on. Collision lock all. Okay, so let's give that another whirl. Now it should stop any errant balls going. It's it's not an elegant solution by any means. Obviously, I'll I'll, uh, I'll fix the model at some point, but we'll just have a little play. Whoop! The white ball's gone in. So we'll watch that get filtered out. Lovely. And then we can go down here, pick it back up, pop it onto the table, and shoot the ball. Oh, lovely, lovely. Let's really, let's really open these balls up a little. Oh, there we go. Oh, the white ball jumped off the table. Go on, get in. Yes, that's it. Okay, another one in. Is that red going to drop into? Oh yes, is our blocking volume working? Yeah, it seems to be working lovely. So yeah, at the moment that mechanism doesn't work. So let's get um, let's get that done, and we'll also uh, I'll also do a little bit of a tutorial on how to go about setting up the objects. Now, as you can see, this is the actual insides of the table. I've made the the faces. I reversed the faces so you could actually see through it from the other side. So from that side. You can't, but from the side you can. So that's that's how the whole thing works. So let's come out of this and get back over to this table. So what what I want to do is like the balls are going to stack up here like a regular pool table, uh, and then this this little this little thing is going to get twisted, and, uh, and then that'll let the balls all come out. Lovely. So what I need to do is first of all get rid of this because what we need to do is uh, replace this actually you know what I'll just delete it entirely because we're going to use a blueprint anyway so uh, let's go to the blueprint I've already got an interactable object blueprint so we'll just grab that and chuck it in the level now this it'll show up as as a as a, a square cube whatever, but this is just a default uh, default mesh that is set. So what we'll do is we'll go into the object mesh and we'll change it to the release catch. Boom! There we go. 
Now we need to rotate it somewhat. So it's 90 degrees. Good, excellent. Now this has got some um, some value, values into it, but they won't do anything yet because the actual first person um, character blueprint isn't set up to interact with this. It is in my other project. I, I've imported this from another project. So what we're gonna have to do is go into the first person character blueprint. And we are gonna have to set a, um, see this is all the pull shot taking script. So it basically, um, this is the pick up and drop object script, which is pretty standard. And this is the, uh, oh, it's, that's still the pick up and drop object script. Where's the, ah, here we go. Here is the, um, that's the charging section. That's, that calculates the charge power for the shot. And this actually performs the shot itself. Now, as you noticed in, you may have noticed in this, it was filtering out the uh, the cue ball, and that's because this portion here has got a custom collision channel enabled. So you can't really see it in here. But there is an op I created a custom collision channel for the cue ball, so everything else reacts to the cue ball apart from that. So if the cue ball goes down, it drops straight down onto the second track, which pops it out the other side, and then uh, the other balls go into this one, and they wait to be released. At least that's the theory. So we've got our little release catch set up. And what we need to do now is again, as I say, make the uh, first person. This is incredibly messy because I've been using it. Um, so this is the pickup event. So that's gonna attach a component at location with rotation. And what's this then? This is the Yep, that's the that's the cast of the cue ball. That's just the event tick. Okay, so that's the event tick, and this is the actual pickup, and this is the drop and throw. Okay. So that event tick's controlling a lot of things, and that's the left mouse. Okay. So I'm just going to find a, uh, sorry about that, I'm just going to find a, a blank, a blank section and we're going to add in um, a key press. So we'll do, we'll use the E key because it's pretty, um, it's keyboard key, key, F, key, F. There you go. I can get rid of that now. I, I don't know why I did it like that. I just, I do things in a strange way. So when we press the, the F key, we want to do a, a line trace by channel. So let's grab a line trace by channel. Cause we need to, we need to know if we are hitting the, the catch. So the start is going to be the get world a location, first person camera. Good. The end is our usual shtick. So it's get forward vector. And we want to add vector to vector. Do that. And do that. We don't. I don't. I don't care about the distance because it's so small. Like, and while we're testing it, I want to be able to make sure I'm, I'm going to be able to hit it wherever I'm standing. So we're going to draw the debug type to duration. Compile. Now, if we go back into the game, we should be able to just press the E key. Huh. Doesn't appear to be working. Was I not using the E key? Was I using a different key? I think I had 
the F key? Yeah, I think it was... I was sitting here and it was the F... <laughs> there we go. Now it's working properly. God damn it, I'm... I'm an idiot! Okay, so... Last bit we need for that is we need to cast to our interactive object to make sure that we're hitting it. So we're gonna do a branch to make sure we hit something. And we can plug in the condition from that. We're gonna break the hit results. Like so. And on true, we're gonna Cast to BP interact object. And the object we want to reference is the hit actor. And then compile. I need to look in BP Interact and we need to check the name Interact with Object. Interact with Object. So now we should be able to compile that. And if we give the catch one of these variables now. So let's rotate on the X by 90, just to make sure it's working. So let's go over to the object and then if we, ah, look at that. Oh, I even got the right axis. Just got it going the wrong way. So we, that's easily that's easily reversed. We just grab that, stick a negative in front. Hit play again. Hey, looking good. So as you can see, this is the old table where the, the balls just kind of went in and the, the inside was slanted so they would just roll, roll down. And then I created this mechanism. And finally, we have this glorious feet of engineering that you see before you. So let's get this moved into position. Oop. No. It's you. Let's get you moved into position. There we go. Oh, actually, should I have it? So it flips up and out the way instead. Like, um, let's move it. So it's like up here instead. I don't have a crouch at the moment, so I'm thinking. It might be better to have it. There. So let's go check that now. If we target that and press the E key. Yeah, but now I need to rotate the other way. So we'll take that negative back out. Hey. Okay, so let's uh, let's see if we can pot some of these balls. Oh, the white goes straight in. Look, not exactly the one we wanted going in, but we'll just wait. For I'm glad I made that glass, the, the top glass now. All right, um, let's really wang it into those ones down at the bottom. Go on, let's do 40. Whoa, okay, that ball bounced. 
That's a bouncy ball. Whoop. Oh, no, catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Ah, got it. Got, I got it. I got it. I got it. Let's put that. Oh, go on. Actually, you know what? Let's just put you right in the hole. Hey, there's already something down there, look. Yeah, that yellow one's joining it. Alright, let's get a decent bit of power. Oh, yes. Go on, down. I'm just going to pop them all in the... All in the hole. I'm just going to put them in manually. And it also shows off the sweet pick up and grab uh, that I've got going on right here. Look at that. It just yanks the object right to you. It's pretty sweet. I haven't actually checked the model to see if there's enough room on the track. Oh, God. It doesn't look like there is, you know? Okay. Moment of truth. Hit this, got it. Yeah, oh, look at that. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. They're all coming out. Oh, look at that. So yeah, that was my um, my, fun my functioning pool table mechanics from this blocky piece of shit to this fully working bad boy down here. So if you want more like this, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.